In last lecture, we discussed about closed loop system. Now, in this lecture, let us find the transfer function of a closed loop system. Let us understand a simple definition of transfer function. Transfer function is the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. We have one condition and it is all initial conditions are said to be zero. Now we can simply write transfer function which is given by T of S as the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. And the constraint it is all initial conditions must be zero. Our next chapter, which is chapter number two, will be transfer function, where we will discuss transfer function in great detail. And in that chapter, you will understand the constraint which says all initial condition must be zero. Let us have a look on simple definition of Laplace transform as well. Laplace transform is a mathematical tool which converts a signal from time domain to S domain. For example, if you have a signal x of t which is in time domain and if you take Laplace transform of the signal, you will get x of s. Or if you have any signal say r of t and if you take Laplace transform of the signal, you will get r of s. Now again, we will discuss more about Laplace transform in the subject signals and systems. Now with this basic knowledge of transfer function and Laplace transform, we can now find the transfer function of closed loop system. This is the basic block diagram of a closed loop system. And we have mainly two blocks, G of S and H of S. G of S is called forward Gain block. It is also called forward gain path. We have second block H of S and it is called feedback block or we can say feedback path. Now here we have a summing point and it is a comparator. Or an adder. So the input signal is the reference signal R of S and the output signal is C of S. Now let us find input and output of each block. Let us start with the feedback block H of S. The input to this H of S, the input to this H of S block is the output signal C of S. Now this feedback block H of S will produce an output signal called as feedback signal. We can see the feedback signal represented by P of S. So for this feedback block, the input is C of S and the output of feedback block is the feedback signal H of S. Now, before going to the input and output of this forward gain block, let us study about this comparator. Now, one input to the comparator is coming from the input signal or the reference signal R of S and it has one more input which is nothing but the feedback signal P of S. Now both this signal R of S and B of S are compared in the comparator and we get an output which is the error signal E of S or it is also called the difference signal D of S. Now as you can see the input to the forward gain block G of S is the error signal E of S or the difference signal D of S and the output of the forward gain block G of S is the output signal C of S. Let us now find the transfer function 
of the individual blocks g of s and h of s first so that we can finally find the transfer function of this overall closed loop system. So from figure, we can write the transfer function of g of s as it is output upon input and the output is c of s. So I can write it as c of s and the input to this gain block g of s is the error signal c of s. I can write this as equation number one. Now from figure, I can write the equation for E of S. So from figure, you can see E of S. Now this error signal, this error signal is coming from the comparator and it is the combination of input signal R of S and the feedback signal D of S. So I can write it is R of S and here the feedback signs are plus minus so you have to take plus minus into d of s this will be your equation number two now the last block is the feedback block h of s and for h of s we can write the output of h of s is d of s and the input of h of s is c of s we will mark this as equation number 3. Now with this 3 basic equations, now it is very easy to find the overall transfer function of this closed loop system. Our aim is to find the transfer function for this closed loop system. So I can write CLTF, that is the closed loop transfer function. It is given by T of S, which is nothing but output which is c of s upon the input which is r of s from equation 1 from equation 1 i can write c of s as it is g of s into t e of s now i have the value of e of s in equation number 2 so from equation 2, from equation 2, I can write C of S is equals to G of S into, we'll substitute the value of E of S, which is nothing but R of S plus minus T e of S. From equation number 3, I can substitute the value of B of S. So from equation 3, I have C of S is equals to G of S into R of S plus minus B of S is nothing but H of S into C of S. So I can write it is H of S into C of S. Now I will multiply this G of S. So I will get C of S is nothing but G of S into R of S plus minus G of S H of S into C of S. Now I will take this whole term including the signs to the left hand side. So I will get C of S. Now it is plus minus. When it goes to the left hand side, it will become minus plus G of S H of S into C of S is equals to G of S into R of S. Now I can take this C of S and this C of S as common. So I'll write here. So I take C of S as common. So C of S, it is 1 minus plus. I have G of S, H of S is equals to G of S into R of S. 
By taking the ratio of C of S upon R of S, I can get closed loop transfer function, which is given by T of S is equals to C of S upon R of S. I will get it is G of S upon 1 minus plus G of S into H of S. So we have got the closed loop transfer function T of S is nothing but G of S upon 1 minus plus G of S into H of S. Now the point here to note is we have taken the feedback as positive negative but in answer we are getting as negative positive. So in next lecture we will discuss about the positive feedback and negative feedback.